All right, as you may recall, um, I've been complaining about the noise that this has been making, and I think there's two things. First of all, uh, I lost my preload somehow, and I took this apart and realized I could, I could wiggle this just a teeny bit. So I cinched everything down real well, and I think I got my preload back. So the next thing is uh, this noise. Um, some of you may have heard this sound before, and I'm going to show it to you real fast. Okay. That is the sound of the, uh, the splines banging against the quill because it's not a super perfect fit. So to solve that, what I've done is, uh, over on the lathe, and I'll show you a clip here in just a second, I took a uh, hockey puck, because <laughs> uh, I didn't have any Delrin or ABS or anything in, in stock, so I took this hockey puck and I made a bushing out of it. And uh, it slips down in here, and it has to be assembled this way or it doesn't fit for some reason. So I just push that in like that, and then the quill is going to go back in from the bottom. Oops. Get the puck in there and jam the quill up. Oh, there she goes. Nice and snug, huh? Sound is gone. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let me take you over to the lathe and I'll show you what's going on. Uh, how I how I put that on a mandrel and turned it. In case you want to turn your own hockey puck. So what I've done is I've turned down, uh, this is just an old piece of aluminum from some other project, and I turned it down to the same diameter, uh, actually a little bit bigger, than what the uh, splined spindle is on the G0704. Then this is a uh, hockey puck, <laughs> which I chucked up and bored to the, to the diameter I wanted, which ended up being somewhere around 840 or 850. And then this slides on here like this, uh, real tight. And uh, use a little petroleum jelly to get that on there, and then I just uh, turned it down to the diameter I wanted. Uh, that way, I got a great chucking, and uh, you know I can pull it off and put it back on, and it's still running uh, true. So I'm going to put a little uh, uh, petroleum jelly on the outside, and go see if it'll stuff into the G0704. And I'll, uh, as soon as I get it to fit, I'll probably be back and forth a few times. I'll catch a little video of that too.